Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I got a little bit of a, an opinion video for you. Um, I'm gonna try something new. Um, but basically on, on Twitter there was a, a recent tweet talking about um, private scrim servers uh, focused on like plus one and stuff, but others included because there are there are other, others. Um, trust me. And it was basically saying that like mid-level players aren't like putting in the effort or like maybe don't like deserve to be in there. It was kind of implied. And um, honestly, I think the tweet was correct. Um, I think it was right. Um, it got deleted um, just for like due to some like advice from you know people saying yeah you should probably delete that so um, I'm not going to really go into the tweet um, but I do have an opinion on the topic uh, that I want to share and I think that it's good for me to share it in the form um, of advice right because me just me just you know spewing out an opinion and that being that maybe isn't the most useful tool for everyone since it's supposed to be a, uh, a channel about you know, teaching and learning. So, uh, so what is my advice? So, <clears throat> the way that this topic tends to be framed is you kind of have like this idea of like we have like these people at the top, and they're in control of stuff, and then they're doing stuff that is affecting people that aren't at the top in ways that the people that aren't at the top can't control. Um, and it seems like not fair, and people don't like that, and you have stuff like that. So, so what um, so what can we we, we say about that? Well. Maybe it's not a case of this isn't something about like power structure. It's actually and let's well maybe it is maybe it isn't maybe it's okay maybe it's not okay but uh, let's just say that it's not about power structure it's about networking. This is a networking. Uh, this is a networking situation right and what I mean by that well you can make your own network of people that you communicate with and talk to and stuff and. You know, in any kind of professional environment, that kind of stuff creates contacts and helps you and blah, blah, blah. So what do you do? So let's talk about, let's create our own scrim network. This is what my advice is going to be about. We're going to make our own scrim network, right? So so what does that mean? So I know this was uh, aimed at mid-level teams. So I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in the context of teams, but I'll try to add some advice oh, okay. that, uh, that players can follow as well. Um, so basically, your team make a separate discord that's your scrim discord call it like you know like blah blah blah's scrim group and you know start by inviting players that you scrim with teams that you scrim with you know that you like and you know as you go maybe you're in a scrim you're in a tournament you're just whatever you find some people or some teams that you like you think that they're you know are close enough to your skill level you think that they're cool people you think that they're um, putting an effort that you know makes you want to play with them more invite them to the group and use it to look for scrims and stuff like that. Um, and the idea is to slowly build it over time with people and players that you want to be there. Um, now you have to treat it professionally. Uh, the, you may have to run into some cases where you have to like kick people and stuff like that. And I know that, that in particular can kind of can kind of uh, you know scare some people or, or like that can be intimidating, but it is um, something that you're going to have to do, you know, in order for you to interact with all these people and build these relationships, you're going to have to get into awkward situations. Um, and from the perspective of solo players as well. Um, so you don't necessarily have to join it, make your own scrim server. If you have some friends that you want to work together with, you can. Um, but you're going to be trying to find more pickups, right? And just more people to play with. And you're not necessarily trying to make everybody your teammate, but um, you do want to play with as many people as possible to open up those avenues where when, you know, you might have a, a bunch of scrims that aren't with good players in your opinion or people are awkward or you know people are tilting and stuff uh, you know you go through like four of those but then that one scrim you find someone who's cool and you hit them up and you're like hey you know like here's this discord where i find scrims um or i might just not even that i might hey i might just hit you up to to scrim later because i thought you were like fun to play with or good or something and just the next time you're looking for a, a pickup scrim add that person and you know, if you solo players are doing stuff like this, if you um, you know you teams are doing stuff like this, over time you're going to build up that scrim network, and it's going to help you find better matches all the time. Um, especially for teams finding scrim partners, finding, finding scrim partners is very important. Um, teams that have been on the past, when we have been able to get scrim partners, which is just another team that's about our skill level, that's also motivated, that um, you know we play together a lot, we understand each other a lot, we have good actual advice and feedback to each other, not just like, oh, I wasn't paying attention, but we flanked the charger a lot. 
Mm. You know, like actual like good working together feedback. Um, you know, your rivals, you're you're improving each other. Like that stuff is really good for a team, and that's the kind of stuff that'll take you from you know kind of hovering where you are and not really having consistent improvement to like actually having a consistent increase in performance um, because you actually have that higher quality practice. You know, you do something wrong in a scrim. The next day, the next couple of days, you can go back on that map against the same people and try to solve the same problem. You know, like that that that, that kind of problem solving is really good. Um, and then one final I kind of want to like you know come back to, but when it comes to social skills, um, I, I like I know just because of the community that we're in, I know that it, it can be like a difficult topic to talk about. But you know, if you're especially if you're a solo player doing this, um, you need to have the self control of your social skills to be someone that someone else would want to play with, right? Um, if that comes to, you know, like maybe you talk too much or maybe you tilt or maybe um, you get like upset or whatever, or, like to like self-deprecating, like, you know, if you, you mess up a kill or you, you, you choke or something like that, just be like, ah, crap, sorry, I didn't get the kill, sorry guys. Or just, I didn't get the kill, my bad guys. And that's it, you don't need to keep revisiting it, you don't need to apologize over and over and over again. Like that's kind of like that. Just saying that when something bad happens, saying "good job" when someone does something else, like the nice, like those little things. Is, that's all you need for that kind of stuff, and and you don't need to like go on more and more. It's like a weird thing to try to cover, but it just in my experience, that's been a thing where it's like some people just you know they just don't have the social skills to jump around like that, and honestly, just chill. Don't need to say too much. Just be friendly. If something goes bad, just you know acknowledge it quickly and move on and it's a lot easier than it than it seems. Um, to end the to end the topic, I do want to kind of compare um, what I'm talking about of making your own scrim network through like Discord servers and stuff to a game that I have experienced with in the past that has something similar that we compare it to, and that is uh, Halo. Um, in Halo, uh, especially the specifically the early Halos, um, the Xbox platforms had um, they had systems where you could kind of create like friendsless extensions and like clans and stuff where you could just kind of like hit X on like a big group of people and invite them all and that to your to your scrim basically and that created a big social network where people would join and leave these these big lists of people these clan lists these friends lists and they would be like maintained and um, people would kind of have a lot of mobility in you know meeting other players and getting in scrims and pickup scrims and stuff like that and um it allowed also for um you know vertical mobility so like if you improved when you're meeting these new people all the time it's like hey if you're like consistently outperforming everyone around you and you're doing really well you might get invited to some better friends list or some better like clans or whatever whatever situation you're in and that um was basically like a best case scenario of what i'm describing um now, in the end, in Halo, um, we did see a similar situation where the top players became less and less accessible over time. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe maybe it's not as big of a deal as I'm talking about. But uh, I think it's just because like the, the it's it's natural for that to happen. The, the and the, the final arbiter of like access to better players than you is performance. You know, if you're not performing. If you haven't done the things that cause you to perform at the time, and you don't perform, then like that's the that's the bar, and there's really in the end there's not that much you can do about it. But you can do things to you know increase your chances of improving and, and stuff like that. Um, but despite all that, I think that creating um, that you creating your own scrim network will benefit you, and if lots of people do it, it'll benefit the whole community. So. I don't know, maybe it's something, uh, despite any shortcomings, it's something that everybody should really consider, and maybe we should start, you know, we the, the Switch doesn't have the systems in place to really provide the tools to have social networks like this, and all we have is Discord, so maybe we should start using Discord to accomplish those goals. Right, something to think about. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later.